All right, guys, today we are cutting out our windows. This is The Bus Life. So this is the first window we're gonna come out. This is in the master bedroom, and I've got four holes drilled on the inside. And we're actually really excited to show you guys these windows that we found um, on Amazon. They're pretty neat. So we're gonna go ahead and cut that out. First of all, get some more light in the bus. Now that we put all this paneling up, we can't see in there very well. So provide some more light. And then we're gonna look at possibly installing these windows today. We'll see how it goes. Yeah. Hey guys, these are the windows we chose to put in our bus. They're actually from Europe. They do have them on Amazon. They're a caravan window is what they're called. This is like a, a polycarbonate. It's not glass, it's dual pane. On the inside, what's really neat is they have a trim piece that goes over that has a screen and blind built into it. Plastic frame on the inside, so hopefully less condensation. Here, I'll take this back out. You wanna Good. lock yeah. it? It's like crazy because it's so high up there. I mean, I like it. This bus on so many occasions is reminding me more of a ship. You're, you're by a ship and it's really tall. This, this bus is pretty tall. It's very more, much more secluded feeling. Julie's about to drill out my marker holes on the other side here so we can cut out the other window in the master bedroom. Singing this song, I see I was wrong. To chain you down, I was the clown. I'm singing this song, I see I was wrong. All right guys, so we are prepping this window to install it. We wrapped this putty tape all around the outside flange. So once we install it, it will make a nice seal. Let's try this. The least amount of it that oozes out the top and the sides, the better. Take it out. Now, once you stick it, it's gonna be stuck, so. We would have been up Dean Creek without a pad. Just so here. you guys know, Ashton is no, Alright guys, so what we're doing right now is we've had to get really creative with our window frames for these windows that we're using. We're actually insetting them because the window frame uh, jam, I guess you could say, is only what, like an inch and a half? If you don't do it that way, then you're going to see a lot of reveal on the inside looking this way. I've got this window already in and you can see we've got like these little clips that go all the way around. That's actually what holds the window in place. So it's actually a screwless install, which is really nice. But then there's a panel that clips over this. The thicker your wall is, the more reveal you will have between this part of the window and the panel that clips on over it. So what we're doing to kind of combat this is we're putting in this material here. We picked this stuff up at Home Depot. If there's ever any condensation, this will protect us from condensation. Um, we're gonna wrap the whole jam area with it and you'll kind of see as we go. Oh. All right guys, so what we're doing is we are framing in our opening for our skylight that's in our dining room. But so the way this operates is you simply pull this, it unlatches it, and it goes up. Okay guys, on the roof of our bus, take you over to look at the skylight here. So this is what it looks like from the top up here and again they've got this like protective plastic seal over it so it's going to look real nice when that gets all peeled off. We'll have the Amazon link in the video description below so if you guys want to buy these yourselves you can just get it right there. So this is a window completely installed, how we're gonna have it. Um, we still have to go along and caulk our seams here. 
But this is it with the inside trim piece installed. We have, of course, a blind that comes up like that. And then you get your screen, it comes down, or you can do it any way you want. So you could have the window open with a little bit of screen here and privacy down here. Um, and then the windows open like this, and they've got three different height settings. Dual pane, they seem to block out a lot of sound. When you have these things shut, I notice that I don't notice any sound out of the windows that I notice out of the vents and things like that. So, and I will have the links to these in the video description. I highly recommend them as a window, but again, keep in mind that you do have to do some custom work like we did. I think in the long run, it's gonna be worth the extra work in order to have these windows. This is our kitchen window, and you'll notice that these actually slide sideways. So you got your screen, you got your blind, so this one opens in two positions, there and there. And this is our skylight. We've got the trim piece already installed here. And this thing's pretty cool because you can, you know, obviously close it, latch it in place, open it. You can lock it into this position here. And I think that'd probably be the best position to have it. And if you want this open while driving, I don't think, I don't see a problem with that. And again, it's got a similar setup to the windows. You've got your blind and then you've got your screen. Yeah, and it's even got a light on it, which illuminates like a warm white light. So in this bus, we've got a number of windows. We've got our two big windows up front here. We've got a bathroom window, a kitchen window. We've got two in the master bedroom, two uh, fan vents, one in the bathroom, one in the kitchen, a smaller skylight in the bunk room, and we have a smaller skylight in our master bedroom. So hopefully that'll bring in a lot of natural light. All right, everybody, and that is it for today. Let us know what you think. Comment in the section below and let us know what you think of our windows. Um, we think they look pretty nice and we're pretty happy with the way they're turning out. Until the next video, goodbye.